Hi, I'm Christoph and I work on Athena Crisis. Athena Crisis is a modern retro turn-based tactical strategy game. If you'd like to play it, you can buy it on Steam, Early Access or directly on athenacrisis.com. The full game is going to ship later in 2024. Today I have a bunch of exciting announcements. And first, I want to share some game updates that we've made over the past month. We've updated Naval Combat to be more modern, and the community contributors, they have researched what Naval Combat is like nowadays to take that back into the game to make it more exciting and more fun to play. So for example, we have changed some of the units and how they're behaving, like the Frigate, which now has a short and a long-range attack. We've made a bunch of other balancing changes already in Steam Early Access so that the gameplay is much more fun and much more balanced and all the units get a turn. We have also finally translated all of Athena Crisis into all the languages we support, such as French, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese, Korean, Polish, and Japanese. We have in integrated a feature that allows you to spectate any other player that's currently playing the game, and we'll soon expand on that so that you can jump in and help or detract them from what they're doing in the game when they're playing against somebody else or against an AI. We've also added custom movement paths. So for example, in Fog, previously the game would always decide which path a unit would move along, and you might end up running into an opposing unit in Fog. Now you can, if you know that there's a unit there that you've seen previously move around, you can avoid it by setting a custom movement path. Today, I'm so excited to announce that Athena Crisis is going to be open source. About 75% of the entire game, that's the entire core, which is 100,000 lines of code, are going to be licensed under the MIT license. So that means people can contribute to the game, they can change the balancing, create new features, but people can also take the game and build their completely separate, similar turn-based tactical strategy game. I believe that the web and JavaScript can be a viable platform for game development. It needs inspiring games, and tools and platforms to make that happen. I want to push that forward. But also, for the past 20 years, I contributed to open source, I benefited a lot from open source, and I just worked in an open environment like that. So I want to give back to the community. In order to build a community around Athena Crisis, Nakazawa Tech is going to fund $5,000 worth of contributions to start. We're going to use Polar, a platform for open source contributions. And I'm so excited to say that Polar has agreed to match that amount. So initially, we'll be funding $10,000 worth of contributions to Athena Crisis. That's not all. I'm so interested in actually making better tools and making better AIs and just building better features to build better games in this genre. So we're going to, build, to have an AI competition. Usually what happens for games like this is that once you figure out how the AI works, you can very easily beat them on each type of map. And the Athena Crisis AI that's currently in the game is no different. So we'll have an AI competition where you can compete with others to build the best AI for Athena Crisis and hopefully the best AI of the genre that's going to inspire every other tactical game that's going to come out in the future. There's going to be prizes and funding for the AI competition, as well as feature development, experimental renderers, and all these things, which you can find on Polar and on GitHub. I just cannot wait to see what people are going to build, how they're going to improve Athena Crisis, but also what kind of games they're going to build on their own with this code base. Thank you so much. <laughs>